Here we have a problem where we're given the five number summary and asked to select the best choice for the shape of the distribution described by that five number summary. This problem might be a little confusing because you want to use your calculator to do this, but this is not a problem that you really do using a calculator. You can do this problem perfectly well just using a simple pencil, paper, and a ruler. The first thing that we'll do is to determine the range of the data, which is gotten by subtracting the minimum value in the five number summary from the maximum value. And here we see that the range is 24 by subtracting 3 from 27. The next thing we're going to do is draw a line on our paper, and then on this line, divide the line into equal line segments that we'll use to denote multiples of 10. In this case, we'll start at 0 because the minimum is 3, and the next multiple of 10 below 3 is 10 times 0, or 0. So here I've laid out the number line, and the numbers go from 0 to 30 because these numbers encompass all of the numbers in the five number summary, which go from 3 to 27. The next step will be to approximate where the numbers in the five number summary reside. Where are they on this number line? And we want to do this fairly accurately. You can use a ruler if you like, or you can just do it by your eye. So here would be 10 and 5 would be approximately midway. So 3 is going to be somewhere perhaps right here. So that will be the number 3. The number 12 is going to be just a little beyond number 10. Following Q1, which is number 12, we have the median, which is 15. So we'll go to a point which is approximately midway between 10 and 20. Here would be 15, approximately. Q3 is 18, which is approximately here on the number line. And finally, number 27, which is the maximum. Here we have 25, 26, 27 would be approximately here. So here we have the five points located on our number line corresponding to the five values in the five number summary. I will now draw vertical lines through the middle three points. Next I'll connect those vertical lines across the top and across the bottom. And finally I'll connect the minimum point with the point which was Q1 and I'll connect the fourth point which corresponds to Q3 with the last point which corresponds to the maximum. If I now erase the rest of the number line and leave only the portion that is identifying the box plot, I think you can see that the five number summary can be used to draw a box plot fairly simply. The final step is to identify the type of distribution that this box plot represents. First it will be to our advantage to determine the interquartile range which in terms of a line segment is the line segment that you see here between Q1 and Q3, the interquartile range or the IQR equal to the subtraction of Q3 minus Q1 which is 6. So here we have the interquartile range line segment given as 6. To determine whether or not this distribution has an outlier we'll look at one and one half times the interquartile range and one and one half times six is six plus half of six or nine. We can then draw a line segment which has a length nine and this can be approximated but we're going to use this length of nine one and a half times the interquartile range to determine whether or not we think there are any outliers. Here, because the maximum point is exactly 27, which is exactly one and a half times the interquartile range from Q3, which is 18, there are no points in this distribution more than nine units above Q3. If there were 
any values in this distribution above 27, they would be more than one and a half times the interquartile range above Q3, and they would be called an outlier. In a similar way, the minimum value, 3 in this distribution, is exactly 9 units below Q1, which is 12. Therefore, there are no values in this distribution more than 9 units below Q1. Therefore, there are no outliers in this distribution to the left of Q1. Looking at the shape of this distribution, because the interquartile range is 6, and because the two whiskers in this plot are both 9, one would conclude that this is the box plot corresponding to the normal distribution.